Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's me, Retrospects. Welcome back to Retro Vlogs. This is episode number three for the vlogging series that I'm doing on my channel called Retro Vlogs. Uh, the uploads have been a little slow because if you guys do not know my situation that I have been going on with me, my mom, moving to my dad's house, uh, it's causing a lot of not headaches and troubles. It's just I really don't want to deal with some of the stress and also record YouTube videos at the same exact time because I'm either, one, trying to get some sleep after I come home from work, two, I got other things personally to take care of, like registering, uh, like registering for classes and school sign-ups, or three, just because I've either forgot about YouTube, which... Sometimes that does pass my mind, and I'm like, hey, I'm going to make a video today, and then I'm like, forget it. I'm not in the mood. I just either go ahead and make a video for today, uh, wind up deleting it for no reason, just because, I don't know. I'm not thinking about quitting YouTube. I'm always going to be here, guys. I'm always going to make more videos. I just got to try to find the motivation. I got to try to find uh, something. Uh, something that I'm really going to do. Let me see. There is a few things that I have to update you guys on. Some things you might like. Some things you might not. Uh, maybe I might make some videos with me and my girlfriend. Uh, we're going to go out on a date this week. I don't know if she wants to be filmed. I don't know if she wants to take pictures. I might put some, uh, some pictures down on my Twitter. If you know, she feels comfortable with it, so I'm not promising you nothing. Um, at the same exact time, if she wants to get filmed, then hey, she wants to get filmed. If she doesn't, and she wants to keep it, you know, then I respect her. I respect her feelings and her opinion. So, um, what was I gonna say in this video? All right, so a few things that I gotta mention and get off my chest before people start hating me for it. It's not a decision that I'm happy with, and it's not a decision that I want to do, clearly. Uh, not that I'm saying, oh my god, I'm so against his opinion, and I'm so against, you know, the fact that I have to do this. But I know a lot of, you know, it's going to stir some some trouble. It's, it's going to stir some trouble in the water. Definitely going to be some, some blood spilled in the water. Uh, because of the fact that, you know, maybe some people have their own little opinion about Microsoft and how they hate Microsoft. Uh, everybody uh, switched from Xbox to PlayStation or from PlayStation to Xbox. Um, so it's like really there's no point in actually me even going any further and holding this from you guys anymore. Um, but it's getting to the point where the PlayStation is getting fixed. Uh, the technician that I took it to uh, said that it's a serious problem and that it needs to get fixed. I guess it's something with the graphics card. Uh, I really do not know. He says that it, it could cost maybe a few couple of hundreds. Maybe it could you know, be even cheaper. He'll have to keep checking into the problem a little more. He'll have to really like dig deep find the problem. He says that he's never really dealt with something like this, only because you know, he hasn't really had that much experience dealing with PlayStation 4s and, you know, how to really build them, so, uh, how to really uh, not build them, how to really work how to really work around them. So he's looking, like, into the problem. Uh, he's taking it to his supervisor to see what he says about it. Uh, so, uh, let's see if hopefully by this month, if not the next, I can definitely get it. I'm still, you know, I'm right now. I've explained my situation in the last video, and I'll explain it again. My mom, you know, she's disabled. Uh, she really doesn't work, so I have to really help provide for her and my, for her and my little sister. I live with my dad, so I have to help provide and maintain, you know, the fam uh, help be the second 
the second uh shoulder the second um not shoulder the second um the second support in the house um so I'm trying my best to actually work with the job that I have now uh go to school and do what I have to do um at the same exact time it's a little difficult I still get to buy my stuff, but I have to give my mom some money and help my dad pay for some bills. So, so there's really not that much money left over for me to like really say, okay, I'm gonna go and spend like, you know, the three hundred and say, go ahead, fix the PlayStation Four. I don't care. You need four hundred, go ahead, fix it, or just you know, let me buy a new one. He's like, probably, oh, it's not worth it. You know, just go and buy a new one. I don't have the money right now to actually go and say, okay. I'm going to go buy a new one. However, my mom said that there is some money coming in the mail that she's receiving from my grandma. Uh, we already we already ahead of our bill payment by like a month, maybe two months, because my dad already paid the bill last month and we paid it again. So we're ahead like about an extra month. I helped pay my dad's rent with him. So, um... Plus, my mom realized that my birthday is going to come in like two months. So this is where the fact that I told you guys that there might be some blood in the water is I'm going to be switching over to Xbox One. Um, like I said, it's not something that I clearly want to do. It's not something that I seriously want to do. I do have friends on Xbox, so for the people that do have Xbox... It's a win-win for both of. It's a win-win for both, because people now can play with me on Xbox and they can play with me on PlayStation. It's not really a favorite, you know, console fan war about. Oh, like I hate Xbox. Oh, I hate PlayStation. You guys both get a chance to actually sit and play with me on PlayStation and Xbox now. For the PlayStation side of things, it's not gonna come back for like a few good months. Uh, the PlayStation, I could probably see it in about another month. Uh, like I said, give me time to work my situation around with my mom and dad. If everything goes better, if everything turns out to be a little bit better, then I'll probably buy another PlayStation, which is what I really, really want to do. I actually probably even want to buy another Xbox One. Uh, not the fact that, you know, oh my god, yeah, now he's officially going to play on Xbox and only Xbox. He doesn't want to play with PlayStation anymore, with PlayStation guys anymore. Um, like I said before, I even had PlayStation 4, I had an Xbox 360, I used to play with people on, PlayStation, on Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, I never had the money for it, it was a little bit more expensive than uh, Xbox, uh, so I just went and bought the Xbox, plus it had a lot of great games. One of the reasons why I really, really want to switch back to the Xbox 2 is because they're remaking Gears of War, which I was a huge fanatic of. Uh, if you guys have never seen the game, ever, which I doubt because already a lot of people know about the Gears of War series. If you know about Halo, you know about Call of Duty, you should know about Gears of War. If you are if if you play Xbox, you should know about Gears of War. Um, great game. Really amazing. I love the storyline. I wish they never ended it so early. I wish they could have continued it straight into Xbox One with, like, you know... A brand new storyline, but I guess they were running out of ideas a little too quick. They saw those, they saw the campaign crawling up on them, so they kind of had to end it right there when they had the chance. I'm not saying they could have a comeback where you know maybe, uh, not Dom, he died in Gears of War three, he killed, he committed suicide. Uh, there's still the fa- there's still the there's still the return of uh, of Anya, you also can have, uh, crap, what's his name, he's not Baird and, uh, Coltrane right now, damn, oh, Marcus, there we go, Marcus Phoenix, took me a while to get the name, but I got it, uh, Marcus Phoenix, so, if you guys have to ask me which one of my favorite characters of the game that I, I enjoyed, hands down it would be Marcus. A lot of people seem to like 
Marcus and Baird. Baird just because he has a he has a really sarcastic personality. He could be an asshole when he wants to be, but he's really really cool. Um, I like Baird too. He's just like really stupid, really sarcastic, and just sometimes he could be you know too much of an ass. I didn't like the character that much, but I liked him. I'm not saying I didn't like him. Coltrane, he was funny. Uh, Dom, he was basically uh, Marcus's backman. He was basically the whole... It was all about Dom and Marcus, pretty much, the whole entire Gears of War series. Um, until he committed suicide, which really sucked. I wish that never happened, but you can't go back and return... You can't go back and change the history of Gears of War now. It's too late. Um, so when I do get the Xbox One... You guys definitely will be seeing some series on Xbox One, whether it be Gears of War, whether it be Call of Duty, um, Black Ops 3. Uh, now that I am going to be playing Black Ops 3 on the Xbox, I know that the DLC contract is up with Activision. So this year, uh, basically the contract switches over to PlayStation. So PlayStation is going to be getting their DLC first. In regards to like zombies multiplayer which is awesome you know I think it should have happened a lot sooner a lot faster I'm not like I said I'm not taking any sides but you know it should have happened a long time ago maybe it even should have happened where both consoles got it you know even PC like everybody you know can stop crying and complaining about the fact that Activision was uh, taking sides and you know everybody was you know complaining about DLC how I want zombies how I want this now I gotta wait for Sony now I gotta wait for Microsoft I just wish the drama would end. They would, you know, hurry up and make a contract where it doesn't have to be, you know, all about favoritism. Sony doing this, Sony doing that, Microsoft this. But it's all about business. It's all about making money. And some of the people that negotiate business with, you know, Activision, the guys who make Call of Duty, are really, really, I don't know. They, they don't see things the way that we see them. They're just more into making money and, all they really care about is our money so it's the sad truth but trust me that's all they really really can care about uh yeah they listen to our voices when we want you know uh new things developed and added into the game but it's just small little things it's nothing like oh my god like let's do a contract to the point where microsoft and sony can both get dlc first that way everybody can stop crying and complaining um but yeah that's that's another thing. I'm also begin. I'm also gonna get a new PC, a new laptop that I'm gonna need for school and also for my own stuff. So if I do make uh, videos like on graphic designing, which I'm planning on doing, I have to install the programs that I'm that I'm gonna need. Uh, so I'll talk to you about that later this week. About that. Uh, so yeah, guys, I will be getting Xbox One. It's official now. I'm gonna get Xbox One, but there is a chance. Hold on, there is a chance that I will get PlayStation 4 again. So, if you guys are in the comment section screaming your lungs out, "Oh my God, you're gonna go to Xbox! I hate you! I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna freaking play with you on PlayStation anymore! I'm gonna, you know, straight up delete you." Guys, I've said it once. I'm gonna say it again. I'm not choosing sides. It's not about favoritism. It's not about the fact that I love one console over the other. It's the fact that my mom took. The money that she's getting decided to do something nice for me for my birthday, and she wanted to get me an Xbox One. You know, if I had the choice, I would have told her to buy me a PlayStation 4. But at the same exact time, she kind of wanted the Xbox One. You know, the first time I actually bought the PlayStation 4, she kind of saw some of the features that the uh, Xbox One had. I don't know. Maybe it's just about the Kinect and how you can, you know, use voice commands on the Xbox, but. I don't care. You could do the same thing on PlayStation 2, but whatever. One or the other. I'm, I'm happy either way. I'm going to get a console. I can be with my subscribers, play new games. So, uh, Thank you guys very much for watching. This isn't a rant video. This isn't something that you know I'm hating one console over the other. I'm just telling you guys don't be upset with me for the outcome of this video. If I do go to Xbox and you guys seriously want me to come back to PlayStation, uh... But yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, like, comment, favorite, subscribe. Uh, tell me which games I should get for Xbox, and hopefully we can play together. Peace.